Guys, hope you're doing really well out there. Today I am back with a slightly controversial video. I'm gonna be speaking about the pineal gland. Uh, before I get into it though, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing, liking, disliking. Um, it all helps with the channel, it helps me out, it helps of course to spread the information. But without further ado, let's get into it. Um, before I get into the pineal gland itself, I just wanna put some meat on the bones. Um, around five or six years ago, I came into the inner standings that the whole chakra system was basically a bunch of BS. Um, the chakra system, and I, I talk about this on a number of videos, you can go back if you want to find out in more detail, but the chakra system essentially being an artificial overlay, uh, an artificial implant, implant or a plug that allows uh, entities or interdimensionals to lock into our energy field and basically siphon off our energy and loop negative mind thoughts in and around our heads every day, um, which obviously creates more fear, and, more fear and anxiety, which creates more food for them. Um, now, when I came out with this uh, five or six years ago, you can imagine I faced quite a, quite a big backlash. Um, people in the loving new age spiritual movement were not too happy that I'd question their rainbow colored uh, lotus flowers. And uh, yeah, it was an interesting time to say the least, and I still get uh, quite a bit of backlash today about it. But um, one of the things that, that stood out at the time was that it seems to me that because something is old or tradition, that it's not allowed to be questioned, which at this point seems crazy to me because when you look at where we're at as a species, with all the gods, with all the angels, with all the chakras with all the pineal glands with all of that we're actually more enslaved than we've ever been in our human history um, so I really do think that we're at a time right now where <laughs> we have to wipe the slate clean and we have to question absolutely everything and the chakras and the pineal gland is just an extension of that now over the last five or six years I've also been working with probably thousands of clients and I've come to learn very uh, intricately how these how these beings are working and how they're hijacking and they're not it's not just one or two implants that they use they they use a, a numerous amount and they all look like different things different devices metal plates um, clamps um, skull caps helmets so it's not just the chakras and the pineal gland, there's a, a lot of other etheric implants. So I'm not talking about physical implants, although there are people that do get physically implanted, which is another video in and of itself. These are etheric implants, really designed to manipulate us, to hijack our energy. They all have different reasons for being there. Some are trying to close down the heart, some are trying to stop streams of consciousness, some are there to design to stop us from connecting with self. Um, so they have a multitude of, of different implants um, at any given time. Now these interdimensional races, uh, I imagine, have probably taken over many different species, probably hijacked humans before, and obviously we know that the hijacking of humans here has obviously been going on for a long, long time. So I just wanted to put some meat on the bones about etheric implants and why they use them. But let's talk more now about the pineal. Um, I've been aware of the pineal being an implant for quite a while now. Um, the pineal, if someone asked me how to describe it in simple terms, in, in a couple of sentences, I would simply say that it acts as a transmitter receiver of this matrix, this Saturn Moon matrix and all of its programs. It really locks us into a synthetic reality. Um, it is almost like a tuner on a TV. Um, and we are hooked into different TV channels, if you wanna look at it like that, of this Saturn Moon matrix. Um, an interesting film, uh, if any of you haven't watched it, uh, is called They Live. Um, it was very famous, I think it was like late 70s, early 80s, and at the end there it had this, this, this big tuner that was keeping everyone's perceptions locked in um, to the matrix and its programs. 
and uh, I recommend that you watch it, but I would suggest that the pineal acts as that on an individual basis. Um, and so that is essentially what it is. It, it is just keeping us locked into this matrix and all its deceptions. Um, it literally creates as well an interface with the fourth dimension or the astral realm, which is not just another layer of the matrix. I, I've spoke about this on several videos now that really the astral realm or 4D, you know, this, this big clamoring to, to access it in the new age movement, it really is just full of negative entities, uh, false white light beings that are trying to hijack us and deceive us. There really isn't anything good there. Um, um, people get triggered by that because they want to believe that there's angels and all this kind of stuff. And again, I'm not saying that there's not good stuff out there somewhere, but um, it certainly doesn't reside in the fourth dimension or the astral realm. Now, when we look at what we're tuned into with the pineal gland, in that it is just this Saturn moon matrix, what we need to understand is that as humans, we go way beyond just this matrix. Yes, we have been stuck here longer than we should have. Um, I don't like to use the word trapped because I don't believe that we are trapped. I believe that there are ways out and I believe that many of us are, you know, this is gonna be our last time here. Um, but if you imagine this is one matrix of many other matrices um, and within almost like a computer game. So within uh, these other matrices, you can have other experiences. Uh, maybe there are other matrices where there's this good versus evil battle going on. Maybe there's other matrices where it's all love, like true love and light, and you're just sitting in nature and everything like that, and it's all wonderful. Um, this particular matrix uh, is almost like a, the badass Sims version. It's like the ga gangster version of Sims. And so it's probably a longer game um, and you have to be pretty badass to come here and experience it. Um, so as humans, uh, I, I do believe that we've had, we have access to all these other realities and matrices. And so when we talk about the fourth dimension and the astral realm, particularly people that have gone away and taken you know DMT or what have you they come back thinking that they know something and that they've seen the truth and how things are really are when really all they've seen is just a, another layer of the matrix they've just seen another strand of the web if you like um, so it's really important to grasp the fact that this uh, this matrix that we're locked into via the pineal gland um, well not locked into because you can remove the pineal gland it's just an implant um, or what it's designed to lock us into is, is nothing really than what we can truly experience. And we probably do that uh, via the heart. We can probably access way beyond here via the heart, but obviously a lot is done to shut that down as well. Um, it, the pineal gland also interfaces with the chakras, um, the other artificial implant. I believe that, as I've said before, they have many different implants. I do believe that the chakras and the pineal gland are two of their main implants. They're two of the most key implants that they use um, to try and hijack us. Um, physically, the pineal gland also interfaces on an energetic level with the nervous system and the endocrine system. Um, <laughs> so what that does is it has a huge bearing on our stress levels, our anxiety and fears and all that kind of stuff, um, which what does that do? It creates more negative energy, it creates more fear uh, and more energy for them to feed on, on this massive uh, battery human farm, which we're basically a part of right now. Um, and again, we see so often in the new age, in the spiritual community, quote unquote, that this 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 whole thing about cleaning your pineal gland and activating your pineal gland and and all this stuff and essentially what you're doing is you're just sharpening your senses into the uh, Saturn moon matrix uh, you might go into another program of that where there, there might be different insights that you get 
but they're still coming from that Saturn moon matrix. That's the key point to, to remember here. Um, and because of people's dire need for saviors, leaders, gurus outside of themselves, there are many channels that you can tune into uh, within the Saturn moon matrix programs where you can feel good and get downloads or, or feel like you're getting downloads and insights. So, you know, maybe channel one is Christianity, maybe channel two is Islam, maybe channel three is the new age, which is the new religion, we know that. Um, and you tune into these different programs via the pineal gland, and again, you're, you're still operating within the bounds of this matrix. Uh, and as I said before, uh, earlier in this video, we, we go way, way, way beyond that. Um, so I just wanted to talk to you about that today. I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you've got any questions, just leave them in the uh, comment section below. Um, as I say, it's, it's a huge amount of uh, different hijacking and manipulations that they use. Uh, but as I say, the, these are two of the, the biggest ones, uh, the chakras and the, the pineal gland. So yeah, uh, I hope that helped you. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. So. Have a wonderful day guys and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care.